uh, nutrition and supplements. And it looks like we have a smaller group today. So that's a good thing because, you know, you'll be able to have time to ask questions, uh, explore maybe some protocols that might work well for you. Uh, I think that, you know, I have, I have a bunch of the supplements here today and I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, what we do in our family and what works for us. Um, but, you know, so my name is Dr. Knut Feiker and I'm a chiropractor. I have uh, retired from chiropractic and I do doTERRA full time with my wife, Christy, and we sort of tag team and uh, we have four kids. So one of us takes care of the kids and the other one does doTERRA. And I've been doing a lot of kid time uh, over the last few years as we've been in Vermont. And it's been a wonderful experience for me just to be able to bond with the kids because when I was in practice as a chiropractor, I didn't see them that much, maybe on the weekends. So, um, but we've been into uh, natural health care for, for many, many years, you know, even before, before we met. And even before, for me, even before chiropractic school, I went to a school um, called Warren Wilson College in Asheville, North Carolina. And I was able to learn um, a lot about nature plants. Um, I took classes in trees and um, plant medicine, Appalachian folk medicine. So I learned a lot about the just the power that the plants have on our bodies and and really was able to to learn about how chemistry plays such a big role in how plants interact with us and that you know each one of us has different chemistry and that chemistry may make one plant more effective for you versus another person. Um, and so for example, I'll just give, we learned a lot about ginseng. So um, American ginseng is different from Chinese ginseng. And the Chinese apparently uh, really uh, value the American ginseng because the American ginseng chemistry um, affects them in, in a, you know, profound, more profound way, I guess. Uh, and so, um, but my first experience with ginseng, we were with uh, Joan Moser, who's a, uh, she's a, a folk medicine um, expert. We were at her home and she had um, wild ginseng growing on her land and, and we were able to harvest it and, uh, and then she prepared it. I believe she boiled it just in a, in a tea uh, and we drank it and all together sitting down and, and talking and we all were just laughing. And I remember just the feeling of the ginseng. I could really, um, really feel it. I could feel it affect me and change me. And uh, that was sort of my first experience into discovering just how powerful plants can be uh, for assisting our bodies, helping us feel better and function better. So we're gonna be talking a bit of today about, about the chemistry and, and how important it is to prepare your, uh, your plants uh, and to make sure that you're getting pure plants, pure sources, um, in order to have the best results with plant medicine. So uh, we've got a lot of material to cover. If a question comes up for you as I'm going through, you know, maybe just pop it in the chat box um, or I'll open up for questions, you know, in the middle and, and towards, towards the end. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen here with you and just show you some of the slides here to give you a little visual. Uh, we're skipping ahead here. Okay, so we're, we're learning today about nutrition and supplements. And first of all, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, why do we need supplements? You know, I, I believe in a, a, a nature-based philosophy, really, that we can, we can receive everything that we need from the earth and that, um, you know, our bodies are, are created perfectly uh, and, and able to absorb all those nutrients. So why is it now that so many people are, are finding themselves sick or out of balance uh, the autoimmune diseases are off the charts. 
Uh, I think probably all of us know somebody with cancer. Uh, cancer uh, is increasing so quickly that they're estimating that in the next 20 years, um, one in two people will have cancer. Um, so we're really in an epidemic level of, of illness that's occurring in our country. And, you know, when you look at it, I think that there's a tendency for the, the traditional way of looking at things, the allopathic way of approaching healthcare is that you sort of just wait until something is wrong. You wait until you have a symptom and then you address that symptom. So you find a medication that can counter that symptom and stop it. But the reality is, at least my belief, is that we have symptoms as a way, as a, as a warning sign. Uh, our body is trying to tell us that uh, something is, is going on, something is wrong. And if, and if oftentimes when people um, you know, do get really sick, if they go back and they think about it, their body has been giving them warning signs and signals for many, many years. And it's, um, and it's just you know, taking an Advil or, or taking some type of medication to quiet that symptom down but it doesn't resolve that, that, core, that core issue. So one of the problems, you know, obviously with, with, our, with our current state of health in the United States is our diet is, is very poor. We eat a lot of um, processed foods. Uh, and I don't, I don't necessarily think that a, a burger is like the worst thing for you. However, when, we're, um, when everything has uh, preservatives in it and the, the animals aren't taken care of or fed properly, um, you know, when, when cows are grain fed, for example, versus grass fed, they are much more inflammatory for our bodies because they are lacking in those, um, those omega fatty acids that will be found in a grass fed beef. Uh, that's just you know one example. So the you know the more that we can move towards a um, an anti-inflammatory diet uh, by you know consuming fruits and vegetables um, as uh, as the majority of our you know our plate you know when we look at our plate they they they're saying you know like fifty percent of your plate should should be um, fruits and vegetables and you know, as we're doing that, it's definitely going to give us a, a stronger nutritional foundation uh, to help our bodies to work properly. The problem is, is that, you know, there's a picture of the soil here, and they're also estimating that in the very near, near future, we could lose all of our topsoil. So all of our topsoil is eroding into our water streams and dumping into the ocean which is causing a lot of environmental issues. But um, additionally, when we're conventionally farming, we're only putting in uh, you know, maybe three different nutrients, you know, nitrogen and phosphorus and um, potassium or whatever it is they, they fertilize with to help the plants to grow. But what happens is, is that a lot of the trace, um, trace minerals and, and uh, vitamins that are in the soil are not getting into the plants as they could have uh, years ago. Uh, they've done studies on, on vegetables and they found that you know, even a, a, broccoli, a broccoli floret from the 1950s you know, is, is, was 20 times more nutrient dense than a broccoli floret that you might find today. Definitely going organic is going to help because in an organic farm, they feed their nutrients in their soils, they compost things and they, um, they bring it back into the soil. So organic is, is, is better, uh, but there's still soil issues going on and organic vegetables also are you know, deficient in nutrients as compared to um, fruits and vegetables that we've had in the past. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, uh, also genetically modifying plants and just pl how plants have changed over the years. So where, uh, what we're finding is that uh, Americans are deficient in vitamins and minerals. 
uh, and you may not even know it. You may not have any symptoms and you could be um, deficient in um, many vitamins. Some studies have shown that over 85% uh, of the American population is deficient in 50% of the key necessary vitamins and minerals for um, basic body function. And so, you know, every cell requires these, these, these core nutrients in order to work well. You know, so what happens when, when our nutrient levels fall? Uh, what happens when, you know, we're, we're, we're consuming um, processed foods that are deficient in vitamins and minerals? Um, what happens when, you know, we're, we're eating high carbohydrate diets and, and, and very few live fruits and vegetables. Um, the, what happens is, is that our, our bodies get out of balance and systems start to fail. Uh, I think that a lot of the, um, the core issues reside in the digestive system. And so when, we, uh, when we're not able to have a healthy gut, uh, it's, it's like a cascade of problems because without a healthy gut, you can't absorb the food that you're, that you're eating and process it properly. So I had a lot of clients that were, were eating very well. They were eating organic. Uh, they were even taking supplements and still they weren't recovering from their um, gut issues. And they're like, I've been eating a, a, the best diet you can imagine, you know, for 10 years and it's just not making a, a difference. And the reason is, is that, you know, our bodies are built from, from when we're born. So the story, you have to go all the way back to birth and how you were fed um, up till now to really uncover all the, all the, um, the damage that's been done to your body over, over time. So when we have good nutrition, when we're receiving all of those vitamins and minerals that we need, um, our body is able to work properly. So when, you, when our body works properly, we have energy. We have sustained energy throughout the day. Uh, we're also, we're able to think clearly. Um, you know, it's not, it's not normal to have brain fog or to feel like, you know, you got two hours of sleep the night before uh, when you slept for 10. Uh, you know, low energy, and uh, difficulty focusing, difficulty concentrating, um, difficulty managing your, your emotions are all indications that your, your nutrition is not where it should be. Um, proper nutrition can also help with the heart, uh, cardiovascular health, and it can help with inflammation. And we know that, um, I'll just bring that back, but we know that, we know that the inflammatory response plays a big role in a lot of the issues that we're seeing nowadays. Um, when you look at, um, you know, Alzheimer's or you look at Crohn's disease, um, diabetes, um, almost any disease that you could think of, when you look at it on a cellular level, it's inflammation that is occurring in that particular cell. Arthritis is inflammation of the joints. So if we can decrease inflammation uh, in the inflammatory response um, to a healthy level in our bodies, it can, it can help and benefit our overall health and well-being. And that is just what the lifelong vitality is focused on doing. The primary goal of the lifelong vitality is to give an individual those that base level of support to just get you up to to functioning uh, at a normal level. If you've if you've you know had a poor diet for many years, or certain things are working against you, perhaps genetics or just your childhood um, history of of diet, then you might need to to do more than just the lifelong vitality. But the lifelong vitality it has been um, studied very closely to um, they've actually studied which vitamins are lacking in the American diet and they've they've brought the proportions or the levels of the vitamins that you'll find in these supplements to just where we need them to bring them up to a balanced state so it's not going to be you know like a big 
powerful vitamin. A lot of the vitamins that came out um, or that are coming out, they just dump tons of, of vitamins into them uh, without taking it into consideration. You know, basically the idea is just throw it at the body and the body will use what it needs and the rest of it, it will just dump out. Um, but the reality is, is that that is, um, it's still taxing on the liver and on the body to process all these vitamins and minerals. So you don't want more than what you need. You want it to be balanced and just right. Uh, the other important thing is that your body is actually able to use the supplements that you're taking. So a lot of supplements are, you know, a lot of B vitamins, for example, they get the chemical or they, they derive B vitamins from um, used uh, film developing uh, chemicals. So it's important that you, that you source your vitamins from a source that the body is going to recognize as food uh, so that it can absorb it. So what doTERRA has done has, they have used whole food sources for their vitamins so that your body can recognize it as food. Um, in addition, your body needs enzymes to absorb that food. So they've included those enzymes in the supplements to help with absorption. Um, they've also uh, fermented the, um, they have a special patented process of fermenting the, the vitamins and minerals uh, so that they are again, even more absorbable. And so what ends up happening is, is that, you know, they work for people. I remember that when I first started taking the Lifeline Vitality, uh, I had been using um, really high quality supplements up to that point and thought, no, I don't, I don't need, I don't need this. Uh, doTERRA oils are awesome. I love them, but I've got, I've got good supplements. But I did take them just to try, give it a try. And what I found is, you know, I was going into the office uh, 6 30 a.m. and coming home at, at you know late at night and by the afternoon around four o'clock I would just get wiped out I would be exhausted I would usually you know have another cup of coffee uh, to try to get my energy up uh, but still would just be you know had difficulty thinking clearly felt like I needed to take a nap and then by the time I got home I was just wiped out exhausted but after only two weeks of taking the lifelong vitality, um, I felt like my body went through sort of a gentle cleanse. Um, I just was like clearing out things and at some points of it, I didn't even feel that good because sometimes when you're cleansing, you can you know, increase your levels of toxins. Uh, but what, what happened was is that after that two weeks, things kind of normalized and balanced out. I had sustained energy throughout the day. So I didn't get that dip of decreased energy. Um, and also my back pain, um, I would have pain at the end of the day, just from bending over again and again, you know, for hours and hours, and that back pain went away too. And the lifelong vitality, you know, is, is amazing um, in how it can help you increase your energy and, uh, and lower down that inflammation. So when you know that in, you know, your, your pain is decreasing, your inflammation is decreasing, it's not just helping in that aspect, it's helping your entire body because all of your cells need to have a balanced, um, properly uh, functioning inflammatory response. Um, there's a lot of amazing things about the lifelong vitality. And I think I might have to, I could, I could do a whole hour class just on, on this supplement. But one of the reasons that I also love lifelong vitality is because, you know, with, with doTERRA, they, they, they do the um, CPTG or certified pure therapeutic grade process with all the essential oils. So we know they're tested, they're free of pesticides. They are 100% pure and their chemical profile is optimized for our health benefit. They do the exact same thing with their supplements. Because the supplement, supplement industry is not regulated, many of the supplements that you see on the market today are not what they say they are. They've done studies on vitamin D and they've, um, they like took all the vitamin D off the shelves. It was a thousand, um, milligrams of cold calciferol and they evaluated it to see what was actually in the bottle and they found that the bottles had between one percent 
and 84% of what was printed on the label. So not one of them had 1,000 milligrams of cold calciferol, uh, which is a big problem. It's a problem because you know, where you're going out and you're buying things and you don't have any idea you know, actually what's in it. Uh, so with doTERRA, they test everything. They make sure that what, is, what it says on the label is actually what's in the bottle, um, which is huge for me. Uh, so we talked about um, we talked about gut health, uh, and before we go on to this, if 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 there's anybody on that has had an experience with lifelong vitality, is there anybody that would like to share a little bit a testimonial about um, lifelong vitality? Well. My Knut, the um, my experience has been um, similar to yours. Um, I got it. Um, I I received the my lifelong vitality supplement in a kit that I got, and I thought, well, I might as well take it. I wasn't expecting anything <clears throat> major to happen. I've taken supplements before, and within a week, I noticed. Um, increased energy and just overall good feelings. And I know Brad, you and I discussed this many times and um, Brad's the one who, who got me onto it, but um, onto doTERRA, but, um, and that was only on a half a dose and that's what I continue to be on and I would not want to be without it. I do have a question though, I'm wondering, what about um, vitamin D supplements? You hear, I've heard a lot about it that, you know, especially living up north with less than sunshine um, in the winter months, especially. Do we need extra vitamin D if we're on lifelong vitality? Um, I would say that, you know, the, the levels of the lifelong vitality for vitamin D are more for, for if, you, if you already have somewhat healthy levels. I would say that you would definitely more than likely need to increase your vitamin D during the winter months. Um, we, we purchase a vitamin D supplement that we have in addition to the lifelong vitality for our family. Um, can you, and Can you recommend one that we know is good or, or vitamin D, is vitamin D generally safe? Yeah, you know, um, well, uh, you know, as I was saying, it's difficult uh, because, you know, vitamin D in particular was, was studied and they found that it, many of the supplements that you can purchase from the store uh, don't have what is listed on the bottle. So it's kind of a, it is a problem. I, I will do some research on that. The particular vitamin D that I use is through a company called Metagenics, but you can only purchase Metagenics through a doctor or chiropractor. Oh, okay. But um, you know, there there may be some places that um, that you could that you could pick that up or or get it online as well too. But there are there are other good supplement companies out there for sure. But I will um, I'll do some research on that and let you know um, the one that I would recommend. But Metagenics is a good a good company. Okay, um, great. They also That's helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, you know, as far as how much vitamin D you want to take, um, you know, ideally you want to uh, you want to test your vitamin D to make sure. But if you know that you're not getting out at least um, 20 minutes a day and getting skin exposed to the sun, then you're going to be need to be taking um, you know vitamin D. And I can just look, so I have the, um, this is the Microplex VMZ and it has 800 international units, which is supposedly 200% of your daily, daily value. So 800, 800 IUs is, is, is a pretty good um, kind of standard dose. I think that if you're taking the, um, I believe the bone nutrient, the bone nutrient complex also has vitamin D in it as well. Um, and as a Caucasian female, you probably would want to be taking uh, the bone nutrient as well. 
um, just because you know you're at risk for osteopenia or you know low low calcium all right i do have osteoporosis and so my doctor does have me, and you're going to gasp at this probably because I've gotten warnings from all kinds of people too, but she has me on Fosamax. Uh, yeah. and, um, and I know, I mean, that, that, that carries its potential side effects so far. I've been good over the years. What about the bone nutrient? I mean, if I start taking that, could I stop, conceivably stop the Fosamax? Um, I don't know. You'd have to check with your doctor on that. Uh, I'm, medications are one thing that I'm, I'm not trained on at all as a chiropractor. And so I don't really, I don't put a lot of focus on that. Um, but I would say that, uh, I would say that definitely it's going to benefit you to, to focus on activities that are going to build bone density and, you know, weight bearing exercise is a, is a big um, key to that, um, because when you put uh, when you put weight, you know, on the on the bones and on the body, it, it creates stress and it cre it it forces the bones to build strength. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we used to we used to teach you know weight weight bearing um, exercises can be difficult uh, for for some because it can also injure your body too. So you want to be careful with how you, how you do that, but definitely having, having some weights around uh, the home and, you know, either working with somebody, a chiropractor or a physical therapist to show you some basic, you know, weight bearing exercises could be really beneficial. Uh, even a really simple way of, of just, of putting, some you know some stress you know or weight on your hands is just you know when you're when you're when you're conscious about like you know like lifting something heavy even like you know you're moving things around the kitchen like you know moving dishes around making sure that you're doing it in good posture but getting getting some weight in your arms and and carrying that you know on a, a regular basis not too much where it's going to hurt you but enough to to help with that and then also um, you know, really focusing on leafy greens, leafy greens, um, kale and chard, those types of things have good absorbable calcium, you know, supplements are just, they're just supplementing your diet. So they can't replace a good diet. The, the diet is foundational and, and without it, uh, none of this even matters, you know, because you won't be able to, you won't be able to bring that, bring your body over the uh, over the the curve of of getting what it needs unless you are you're supplying it with that proper nutrition and i'm i'm planning on doing a a cleanse i haven't i haven't done one you know since i've been in practice but it, it's going to help with um with with really focusing in on nutrition and um and clearing clearing stuff out so i'll let you know about that so thank you. did that answer your question? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Um, so this talks a little bit about gut health. And as I was saying before, you know, gut health is really integral in making sure that you're able to absorb the nutrients that you're taking. So terazyme is a digestive enzyme. And many of us are also deficient in digestive enzymes because enzymes we receive from plants uh, in order to digest our food, as I was saying before, but we also use enzymes all throughout our body. Uh, we use them every time we fire a muscle. And what I found in my practice was that a lot of times when people were deficient in enzymes, they would have cramping, restless leg syndrome, muscle related issues, um, even muscle pain, uh, muscle atrophy, because as you're eating, and you're not eating any raw fruits and vegetables, if you're cooking everything, you're killing all the enzymes. And if you're not eating enough raw fruits and vegetables, then your body will strip enzymes from other systems. So it'll strip those enzymes off of your muscles, and then your muscles can't work properly. They get fatigued quickly. You get, um, you get tired uh, quickly. Or if you exercise, you, you, know, you get pain in your muscles as if you had just you know, climbed a mountain when you were just 
were doing a couple uh, extra flights of stairs that day. Uh, so uh, digestive enzymes are very important to take if you're, especially if you're not getting enough raw fruits and vegetables, which I think most of us are. Some people are really good about that, but I definitely have to really work on that myself. Uh, so I take the digestive enzyme along with the lifelong vitality. I take the lifelong vitality in, uh, in the, you know, for breakfast and then at lunch. Um, and I take two of the capsules twice per day. And I take one of the digestive um, enzyme capsules with each meal. Some people need to take two, uh, just depending on how many raw fruits and vegetables you're getting in your diet. Um, so these are some things that damage gut health, obviously an unhealthy diet, uh, antibiotic use of any sort can disrupt your um, microflora of your digestive system, which is a huge part of your immune system. And we're all working on, on boosting up our immune systems right now. And so I think it's really important that we get um, proper um, good bacteria into our, into our gut. Um, and so probiotics are a good way to do that. However, a lot of probiotics on the market um, are destroyed by the high acidity of the stomach acid in your stomach. So when you take a lot of probiotics, they're just killed in the stomach and they never make it to the small intestine. So doTERRA has um, created a, a, a a capsule, they're encapsulated, so they're doubly encapsulated. Even the, um, the PB Assist Junior that you see here, which is a little powdered form, and it comes like, it looks like a powder, but every single little capsule of that probiotic is encased uh, in, a, in a protective shell to protect it from that stomach acid. And the idea is to bring those probiotics into your small intestine, whereas often a lot of the issues are occurring where you have killed off your bad bacteria or your good bacteria and the bad bacteria is taking over. And then you can get things like SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Uh, and that's where, you know, the, the bacteria, if you get bloating after you eat and you just, your stomach just billows up, or if you just kind of feel like so overfull, you could have a mild case of SIBO. It's pretty common. I saw it a lot. Um, and we have some tools with doTERRA to help work on that. A lot of people have to take uh, antibiotics first to kill those bad bacteria. But we have a product called GX Assist, which um, works at killing off bad bacteria. So you can take GX Assist for 10 days really intensively. And that has oregano oil in it. Uh, and caprylic acid and other things that will kill off the bag bacteria. So it's a great product. So I like the GX Assist and the PB Assist in conjunction with one another. Using the GX Assist first to kill off those bad bacteria and then rebuilding with a good probiotic. So of course you want to make sure that you're getting enough physical activity, that you're sleeping well, and that you're, you're managing your stress well. And uh, and sometimes, you know, we have to target specific areas. So we have a lot of different products in, in, in different realms uh, to, to, target, uh, to target our wellness. You probably are not going to be taking all of these at the same time. Uh, however, there are a number of these that I take um, pretty regularly. Some of them we're going to be going over are, are not available. I think the turmeric and the deep blue polyphenol complex are not available right now, but they should be um, increasing their supplies and getting those available soon. But the deep blue polyphenol complex is a really nice, um, is a really nice product for decreasing pain and inflammation. It's primarily uh, boswellia and turmeric that are in this product. And you can, uh, you're also getting, you're getting this in the lifelong vitality. So I would say take the lifelong vitality first. And if you are still feeling that you, you need some support with, with you're still having your pain is still um, increasing, or maybe you, um, you know, I use the deep blue polyphenol complex if I, if I do a big hike 
and my muscles are really sore if I do a bunch of gardening and my back is really sore, I will take two and it usually clears that right up. Uh, so it works, works great for the muscle system. Uh, the adaptive calming blend, you know, is a really great product for anxiety and depression and even just, you know, dips in your mood and your state. You know, we all are going through a lot of stress right now. And I think that having something to support you with that emotionally uh, is, is really, really key. And we've, we've found that the adaptive complex has really helped us. Our son, our teenage son, uh, you know, he's just, he's been struggling. He had a lot of hard, a hard time with, with school and social things. And when he was taking the adaptive regularly, it made a, a huge impact just on him feeling good and being able to focus on what, um, what he needs to focus on with school. Uh, the turmeric capsules are awesome. They have, uh, you know, done tons of studies on turmeric and found it to be really helpful for inflammation, uh, helping to fight off free radicals. And if you know a bit about turmeric, you know that it needs to have black pepper along with it in order to help with absorption. But the studies have found that the turmeric oil actually works uh, better than black pepper for helping with that absorption piece on turmeric. So this turmeric dual chamber capsule has the turmeric oil and the turmeric powder. So serenity capsules are, are amazing. You know, the serenity oil by itself alone Lavender by itself alone really helps people with sleep, but sometimes uh, people need a little bit more support. And I like having the Serenity capsule around. I don't use it every day, but there are some days where I'm just, I'm, I'm just really going through a lot of stress or my mind is really busy or I'm, I'm just having trouble relaxing at night. And if I have a cup of tea and take a couple of these, it really, I can just notice it in, in about 30 minutes, just calm my body down and it gives me a really deep sleep and I feel, I feel nourished and refreshed in the next morning. Uh, has anybody tried the Serenity capsules that's on that would like to give a testimonial? I know a lot of people have found good results with these. I can only give a secondhand testimonial because Alice uses it every night to help her sleep better. Nice. And she's had good results with it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Complains when we run out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the serenity? Nice. Uh, so phytoestrogen and bone nutrient, these are, you know, these are the in the doTERRA women's line. However, uh, these are also for men. There's no reason why, you know, we have hormones too, and we're exposed to, um, to things in the environment that the phytoestrogen can help protect you. Uh, the phytoestrogen can even help you, help protect you against radiation if you are exposed to radiation. And, um, and many of us are, even unknowingly. But what happens with, with the with the hormone system or the hormone body is that uh, there are things in our environment, they're called xenoestrogens. There are artificial estrogens that are found in uh, skincare products, in makeup. They are found in perfume and they are found in a lot of products that are made in our home. And they're also found in chemicals that they spray on lawns to kill dandelions. Uh, so we are exposed to these, uh, these artificial estrogens, and when they come into our body, they're thousands of times more bioactive than our own natural estrogen, or in women's own natural estrogen. And so it can wreak havoc with the thyroid gland and call, cause thyroid disease and other issues. And basically one of the ways that phytoestrogens work Phytoestrogens are plant estrogens, and a lot of the essential oils have um, plant estrogens in them. So it does have essential oils in it and other herbs that have 
uh, these plant estrogens, but they, plant estrogens are um, adaptogenic actually. So when you, when you take the phytoestrogen, it helps to balance your hormones. If, you're, if your hormones are too high, it can bring them um, down. And if they're too low, it can bring them up. And it also, uh, it, it tags into a receptor site. So it fits into the receptors uh, in the body and protects them from being um, engaged through with a, with a xenoestrogen. So if you're exposed to a xenoestrogen, it comes into your body, it can't tag on to your receptor site, and then you can push it out, cleanse it out, and get rid of it. Uh, so phytoestrogen is an is a awesome product that I, I think a lot of women and men, I take it too, uh, not every day, but I, I do take it, uh, can help to um, balance your, your, your hormone levels out. The bone nutrient, as we were talking about before, you know, is a good calcium and magnesium and vitamin D supplement just to help bone, bone health and bone, bone support. Um, if you're, you know, a lot of people have the best results with lifelong vitality. Some people need a little extra boost of energy. And so Mito2 Max is a great way to do that. It helps support your mitochondria, uh, which, you know, basic, basically it's ALA or um, alpha lipoic acid and acetyl L carnitine, which feed the Krebs cycle. So it's feeding that energy um, producing cycle in your body. And uh, when I was in practice, uh, we used to sell them separately um, and they're very expensive um, to purchase. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I love doTERRA is because we get really high-end supplements uh, for a really a fraction of the cost of what they're worth. doTERRA works really hard at keeping us healthy and, and get, making it accessible for us too. I had patients who were on protocols in my office and they were spending you know, upwards two to $300 on supplements. They would bring in their supplement <laughs> pack for, for me and uh, we would look at it and I basically, I would be like, well, you can get all of this in these, the Lifelong Vitality in three of them uh, and maybe, you know, probiotic and digestive enzymes. So I would switch people over and they would save money and actually feel different, feel better. Um, Zendocrine, Zendocrine complex, Zendocrine, um, the, you know, the, the brand or whatever, the name Zendocrine is, is an oil. Uh, this complex, however, is also uh, has herbs in it too. You can get a Zendocrine capsule, which is the oil in a capsule. Um, but this complex is really helping support liver function and it's helping your body to detox uh, normally. So when doing a cleanse, the Zendocrine is really beneficial but in actuality, we're cleansing our bodies all the time. So if you can help support your liver, then uh, Zendocrine is gonna be a great, great product for you. And it has a lot of, lot of wonderful herbs in it. Um, yarrow palm is also a capsule. It was funny, my wife had this sitting on the shelf when she came back from convention. I thought it was you know, it's like cellular beauty complex. I thought it was like a cream or something, you know. And then one day I like shook it and I was like, wait a second, they're capsules. And I look at this and I was like, whoa. And uh, then I started learning more about it. And so, I mean, yarrow and pomegranate are, are amazing herbs and plants. Um, and if, if you're really working on, you know, your skin health, you know, the skin is a detoxifying organ. And so if you're just applying things topically, that can be effective. But ultimately, you really want to be working from the inside out, you know. So if we can bring in these, these, these herbs and these supplements that are going to support um, antioxidant health and help our metabolism, then it's going to have a much more um, long-term effect and a deeper effect on the body. So the Yarrow Palm Complex is, is really great for helping your skin from the inside out. Um, so this is just an, you know, this is an example of how, you know, you can take the supplements in the morning. You could take uh, two turmeric and one PB assist. 
then with food, you want to take the lifeline vitality, a digestive enzyme, and then an adaptive. And for lunch, another two each of the lifeline vitality, a digestive enzyme, and the Mito2 Max to avoid that, you know, after, after lunch um, sort of dip in energy. And then before you go to bed, taking two of the Yarrow Palm, two of the Copaiba, and two of the Serenity. And, you know, the Copaiba is a great product for, uh, for helping your body to just adapt to changes and, and, uh, and, and really rest deeply and relax well. So I can post, I'll post this um, sample daily schedule um, on the group. This is another sample wellness box. If you don't know about the loyalty rewards program, it's an amazing way that you can, you know, get your oils for a significant discount. Uh, they have an amazing system that you can add certain um, products with your Lifeline Vitality. So if you're ordering the Lifeline Vitality, you can see that it's $79.50 there, but you can add Terrazyme and PB Assist for only $20. And you know, a good, a good probiotic, you're gonna be spending at least $30 to $50 on a good probiotic. And I haven't seen anything um, that is as good as the PB Assist because of its ability to move through the stomach. So that's an amazing deal that we can, we can add on extra supplements to our Lifeline Vitality Pack for only $20. And then it shows you um, the Serenity, Lemon, and Turmeric. So you're, you're reaching, it's, you can see it's $185 and the total is 133 points. And if, you're, if your point value is 125, and your order goes out before the 15th of the month, then you get the free oil of the month, um, as well as you get free product credits back. So when you first join, you'll receive 10% of your order back in free product credits. Those credits just go into like a little bank account that's held in your back office. And every three months it grows by 5% and it, it maxes out at 30%. So eventually if you spend a hundred points, you get 30, you get $30 back in free product credits. So uh, plus all of your shipping costs comes back in free products too. So when we buy $100 in product, we get $34 back in free stuff, which is awesome. And you can accumulate those points. We usually do recommend people accumulate them and then cash them in and get a free frankincense, you know, or a free Melissa oil or like a really expensive oil, you know, that you've been wishing for. So it's, a, it's an awesome way to, to get your nutrition and your supplements. You, you know you're getting them fresh, they're not just sitting on a shelf somewhere and uh, it's a great way, great way to do that. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make a little shift. I wanna open it up for questions a little bit, but I'm just gonna share with you, you know, there are really like three different types of people that we work with or that doTERRA supports. Some people have their oils and they just want to learn how to maximize their own health and uh, participate. And we, we provide free oil education for those individuals and they're a part of our community and our Facebook community and our Facebook group. Uh, the second type of people, they are, you know, just they just want to make a difference and, and help others. And so they're telling their friends and inviting their family members and um, bringing them to our intro classes on Thursday. And then they can, you know, advance into the continuing ed classes. And we call those that those people are actually receiving free healthcare. Uh, so their oils are being paid for um, and they're getting their, their, their natural healthcare paid for. Um, the third different, the third type of person is the type of person that's that's watching this, watching me, and saying, "I want to do that too." You know, I want to help teach other people how to take care of their health, make a difference in the world by supporting small farms around the world. You know, we work with um, farmers who have um, five-acre plots or less. There's uh, there's some amazing uh, videos you can actually see um, our farmers growing the products, you know, in Haiti uh, and seeing what a difference doTERRA is making for their, 
for them and their lives. Uh, we have a nonprofit organization called the Healing Hands Foundation, where we go, we give back to the communities that are providing our oils for us. And we get to be a part of that. We get to be a part of supporting farmers around the world um, and getting amazing pure products uh, for ourselves and for our friends and family to, to function and heal and, and feel good. So if you are, you know, in those, uh, number two or number three category, I invite you to stay for a little bit after we do the questions so we can go into that a little bit more. Um, but I'm just going to try to stop this screen share so we can move to this. And then does anybody have any questions specifically on things that you are working on that you would like some support in? No, or maybe maybe you have a friend that you know, is I had a on. quick question about copaiba. Yeah. So I had a quick question about the oil versus the soft gel. Like what are the differences? Sure. Yeah. So the oil, you know, the oil um, and the soft gel are basically the same. The soft gel just has the oil encapsulated in that little soft gel. So what I guess how it's going to affect you differently. You know, I think that if you're, if you're really trying to target the, um, the digestive system and the, you know, the body from, from a deeper core area, then the capsule is good because you're swallowing it and it's moving into your digestive system and your body's gonna be able to integrate it that way. Uh, for us, like the OnGuard Plus capsule, <clears throat> we'll often take that and we'll actually bite it, uh, you know, and, and then, It'll, it'll get in the mouth and the, in the throat before it gets to the stomach. And I found that that has a bigger impact on addressing um, the nasal pathway, the mouth and the throat if I'm having um, issues going on there. Uh, so I think that the same, same with Copaiba, the oil, you know, you can apply to your skin. If you have a joint uh, issue, you can kind of target that area a little better. Um, and the capsule is just, it's just kind of an easier, easier way of taking it, especially if you don't like the taste of copaiba. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And then what is the link to say that I was here? Oh, yeah, yep. Thank you. Because I actually, I watched the video from last week, last night, so. Okay, nice. Yeah, let me, let me, let me type that in here. So it's just a bit.ly um, and it's EO educate sign in. Okay. That's great. Yeah. And so this is, and this is a revolving series. So it's every, um, every week on Saturday at 10 AM, we do, we do a class. If you participate in all eight of those classes, then you get a, um, a free diffuser. And uh, if, you, if you continue and you go through a, a second round, then you get um, actually this little um, supplement box. And so it's just a little box that you can help to, to organize your, your supplements in. It has little name tags on there and you can put, put each of your supplements in. Um, what we use, you know, in our house is that, I mean, a lot of, I found a lot of times with supplements, it's really just about being able to consistently use them. Sometimes we're like really fired up about it. We're like, I'm going to do this. And then you just forget, you know, so we have these in our kitchen and we just have like a little bin and just everything is all in there. And so, you know, I can, I can go through and just grab all the things out that I'm, that I'm taking for the day and then put it back in the drawer. And that makes it really, really easy, easy for me. All right, good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop back up onto the other part of the, the presentation here. If you guys would like to continue on, I'm gonna share a little bit more about you know, what the business is all about. And um, 
you know, in, in ways that you can engage with doTERRA. So some people uh, just want to be a referral partner. So they partner with us by inviting people to these classes, you know, invite, we have a introduction to essential oils class every week on Thursday at 7 p.m. And so you can invite people to this and, uh, and, and get free oils in return for that. Uh, if you enroll your friends, you can actually get paid extra income. So you can make, make money uh, while helping other people. Um, and then some people are interested in actually supplementing or replacing their income. And for those people, they can, they can build a team and you can actually start a business and it can, it can be your career, um, helping other people to, to feel better. So if you're wanting to pay for your product, it takes about three to five hours a week um, and you're enrolling a few people a month. And this is just an example of the average, these are some different ranks you know, in doTERRA that we have. Um, Elite is the first one and that one is about $300 a month and you've enrolled approximately 15 plus people. Now these are just averages, so it, it all depends on the individual. Uh, and then the premier level is about $742 a month. And then moving up from there, uh, the silver rank is where you have three elites and that's about $2,000 per month. And so once you've solidified these, these ranks, once you've moved up into you know, the silver uh, category and you have other people on your team who are also sharing the oils, it is an opportunity for you to really experience what residual income is. And residual income is, from my perspective, it's true financial freedom because you are not, uh, you're not dependent on, on you being present in the office. So like when I was a chiropractor, I had, if I wanted to make money, I had to go into the office and I had to perform my service. The way that residual income works is that we are paid a percentage, not only on the work that we do, but also on the work that our team does. So as your team grows and that they become more engaged and, um, and serving of others, uh, you start to receive income from the work that they do. And so what's, what's, what, what's cool is what happens is that you create this, um, this relationship with people where it benefits you to support them and it benefits them to, to support you. And so instead of being in, you know, I don't know if you've been in this situation before, but if, if you're in a, in a busy office and you're competing against each other, you know, for that raise or for the promotion. And so it creates this, um, this tension in the office setting where people are working almost against each other. Um, but in doTERRA, in our organization, we work with each other and we support each other, even people who are not on our team. The doTERRA culture is all about um, collaboration, working together and supporting one another, uh, which is a really beautiful thing. And for me, uh, it's, it's critical because I want to be enjoying what I'm doing. So if you're looking to supplement your income, you're looking at around 10 to 15 hours per week and enrolling four customers and one builder a month. So this is where you're, you're, you're more engaged and you're inviting people to share the oils and, and have, have an income with doTERRA as well. Uh, the gold rank is you have three people under you that are premier and that's about uh, 5,000 a month. Platinum level is three silvers and that's uh, 9,000 per month. And then the diamond is uh, four silvers, and that's about fifteen or sixteen thousand per month. And these are really, you know, I think with a lot of those, I think even with gold, you can replace a lot of incomes. Uh, these are really replacing your income, and and beyond. Um, does require more work, you know, fifteen to thirty hours per week enrolling eight plus customers and two plus builders a month. And these are some of the higher ranks. Diamond is the rank that Christy and I are at currently. And that is the four silvers, 
moving up to Blue Diamond, you need five gold leaders, and that monthly income is you know thirty seven thousand. So um, big big jump there. And if you can notice that your your income really almost doubles every time you move up. And Presidential Diamond is the is the top rank in DoTerra, and um, I can't I can't actually read what the what the income level is on there, but I'm guessing it's it's probably double the thirty seven thousand, and um, so it's probably up and towards uh, sixty or seventy thousand, which is amazing. And the the cool thing about um, DoTerra too is that you know a lot of people are getting into business just to make money. And what I found with the community in doTERRA is that a lot of us are really just wanting to make the world a better place. So a lot of the presidential diamonds that I know, they give back a lot of their income uh, into their own businesses, into helping others, and also just donating uh, their time and their energy and resources back into making the world a better place and to service into the Healing Hands program. And we're, we're really more about, um, more about the mission of making the world a better place than just making lots of money. Uh, so the basic process is you know, giving your friend a sample of something that they're having issues with, like sleep or headaches, digestion and pain, you know, following up with them and showing, and showing them you know, three cool things about oils and three ways that they can use them. Uh, showing them the kits of how they can get the oils, and um, and that's it. Helping them, helping them get engaged, inviting them to these classes. Uh, so it's a great idea to you know sh uh, carry samples with you. Um, I love these keychains. My kids all have a keychain, and they love to share the oils um, with with others, their friends, and teach everybody. And uh, these are just some other ways that you can you can help share with people. Uh, these are some ways in which the you know the financial process works. But if you have more questions about this, you know, reach out to Christy or I, and we can go into more detail. Set up a call where we can do a, an actual business overview with you. So I'm not going to go into I'm not going to go into this stuff too much. But if anybody has any questions, um, this is more for like a a business overview type thing. Yeah. All right. But if anyone has any more questions, I'd be happy to to answer those. Otherwise, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. And I uh, hope to see you next week, Saturday at 10 a.m. And also on Thursday at 7 p.m. We're doing a, another intro class at that time. All right. Thanks for joining today.